Hi guys. So, on a recent, um, what is this called? It's called uh, the Zoners, um, the Dizon Boxing Show with Ade Oladipo and um, his name's just gone out of my head. Tony Bellew. That's a bit weird. I'm just like looking at him, like not registering. Um, Tony Bellew had some interesting things to say about. Bud Crawford and Errol Spence Jr., a.k.a. Errol Sprints Jr., fight, or well, potential fight, stand by. It's a fight on one of their own shows. Do we see Canelo travel? We don't, we don't see huge mega pay-per-view stars travel. So make no mistake, Errol Spence and Terence Crawford are both on the same level of superstardom. They're both amazingly gifted, talented fighters. That cannot be disputed. But when it comes to their ranking amongst the fans and the draw that both of the fighters have, they're pretty much on the same kind of spectrum, are they? They're both, no one wants to face either of them. Yeah. No one can, no one can beat either of them. And they actually now are at a point in their careers where they need each other. And Tim Smith needs to, a reality check and someone to say to him, listen, mate, Errol Spence has nowhere to go. And Terence Crawford has nowhere to go. So you know what the best thing to do is? I'll tell you what, all the sanctioning bodies need to just go, we are calling Terence Crawford as Errol Spence's mandatory. Yep. Errol Spence, we are calling Terence Crawford as your mandatory. And you know what? We're going to go to happen. pierce bids. Yeah, it's got to happen. So we just stick it out to pierce bids. Force it to happen. I, and then, believe you me, when we go to pierce bids, you will see how big that fight is. <laughs> because that's a 50, 60 million dollar fight no questions asked and it should just be you've got belts he's got belts they get they get stuck in and it's a 50 50 split i guarantee you now the pay bid will will be huge mm. because whoever puts it on understands and knows that but al Heyman and pbc is fantastic at businessmen as they are and they do put on some great shows and they do put on great fights they want to keep it all in house now i'll put my bottom dollar on it that if if someone if one of the sanction bodies comes out and says right we've got to put these guys out on pierce bids he'll vacate and he will vacate on the advice of al Heyman and this tim smith and that's such a disgraceful shame this is why boxing is goes so wrong at times because the politics get involved in it yeah. Yeah. it doesn't matter where tenants club is he's a free agent right now you have no problem making the fight happen this is what eddie hearn is trying to do and create at the zone we're trying to put on fights you don't necessarily have to be matching fights ain't that an interesting one that i didn't think of or haven't heard about he feels that al Heyman would ad advise sprint to vacate the belts um i don't know about that um, I wonder why Tony, he said he'd bet his bottom dollar on there. Mm, on that. I don't understand where he's coming with that. Do you think that Errol Spence would vacate the belts to avoid Bud to that degree after? Hmm. I don't know. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. Because that would, like Tony Bell, you said, would be just like the most cowardice thing to do. And it would just be blatantly obvious that you are ducking dude even though it is blatantly obvious that you are ducking bud anyway so it's just like hmm. but guys please press the like button when you see these commentaries because it's important and let me know in your thoughts below let me know your thoughts below bars mm, okay let me know your thoughts below because i'm a bit stumped with this one if this would ever be a possibility uh, would Errol Spence Jr. vacate the belts? Um, yeah, stumped. Um, but I did make a good um, uh, statement that why don't the governing sanction bodies just make Errol Spence and Bud Crawford mandos? Like, just make them the mandos for each other now. Just, like, force it to happen. Anyway, I'm gone. Hey girl, it's Leonie Shamrock, none less. Come box with Shan. Gyan! Rah!